the fox's wedding long ago there lived a young white fox named fukuyemon after reaching a certain age he decided to marry he got rid of his forelock and started searching for a beautiful bride one day his aunt came to meet him she told him about a beautiful young lady fox who was famous all over for her beauty and charms she also had a lovely fur that made her attractive as soon as the young white fox heard about her he was keen on making her his wife soon a meeting was arranged between them they both liked each other and decided to marry the young white fox sent the wedding gifts to the bride's house The bride's parents gladly accepted the gifts. The date of the wedding was fixed. After the initial ceremonies, the lavish wedding was conducted. The bride the and bridegroom lived lovingly together. The little foxes soon A letter of little foxes were born to them. The grandfather was filled with joy. He treated the little foxes so lovingly and gently as if they were tender like flowers. They are so much their great grandfather said the white fox as like as possible. Also the little foxes were so healthy that they would never need a doctor when the little foxes grew up they were carried off to the temple of inari sama the patron saint of foxes the old grandparents prayed for their well-being and to keep them away from dogs and other ills which loved to eat the flesh of a fox As time passed by the white fox grew old and prosperous His children kept increasing year by year He was so happy in his business and family that every spring gave him a new reason for joy The jellyfish and the monkey. Once upon a time, the queen of the dragon palace was about to have a baby. She had a weird craving. She wanted to eat a monkey's liver. The dragon king wanted to fulfill her wish. He called the turtle and asked him to get the liver of a monkey. He at once went out and reached one of the islands of Japan. He saw a monkey playing near the seashore. The turtle asked him, "Dear monkey, would you like to come as a guest to the Dragon Palace to see the mountains?" The monkey agreed. and went along with the turtle to see the dragon palace the turtle went inside the palace and asked the monkey to wait at the entrance gate the gatekeeper the jellyfish looked at the monkey and started laughing the jellyfish approached the monkey and said dear monkey do you know that the queen wants to eat a monkey's liver that is why you have been brought here
why the jellyfish has no bones. After a few minutes, the turtle came out. The monkey said that he had forgotten his liver hanging on a tree. He hung it to dry in the sun. If it rained, it would get wet. So he wanted to go back to the tree to get his liver. The turtle carried him back to the seashore. When they reached the land, the monkey quickly jumped off and climbed the top of the highest tree. The monkey mocked the turtle and said, Inside the sea, there can be no mountains. Outside the body, there can be no liver. Disappointed, the turtle returned to the sea. He went to the dragon king and said, The loose-tongued jellyfish must have told the monkey everything while the monkey waited at the gate. The king was furious and said, Remove all his scales off. Take out all the bones. That is why the jellyfish has no bones and has this shape which it has now. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.